And we're back to part seven of our series of Know Your City Services. I'm here with Trish Conley, our Deputy Chief of this department, and we're gonna go over some of the services that are provided. a lot of cameras looking at us. <laughs> so Ben Fire and Rescue, can you tell us a little bit about what that means and what that looks like? Absolutely, Zavi. So we have adopted six core values in a mission statement that really drive every decision that we make in our department. The six core values are resiliency, integrity, compassion, respect, optimism, and humility. I love it. Yeah. And our mission statement is protecting lives and supporting our community with compassion, professionalism, and teamwork. So what makes our mission statement possible, taking it off the wall to action, is the men and women who work for our department. They are incredibly uh, professional, talented, and take great pride in serving our community. I love that, it's yeah. super important. And can you tell me a little bit about, so like, Fire and rescue. Yes. Although, to me, those are two totally different things. Can you kind of go into a little bit of each and maybe starting with like the fire component? Absolutely. So we used to be called the Ben Fire Department. Right. And we changed our name to Ben Fire and Rescue and you caught on to that. And so obviously when people think about the fire department, they think about the fire, fire engines, right. right? The fire engines, um, which is a huge part of what we do. We do wildland and structure fire, but the rescue is actually more of what we do. A lot of people don't know that we also um, are on the ambulances. So we, if you call 911 and have a medical problem, right. our crews go. So we are responsible for all the uh, medics. 80% of what we do is medical. Overall, with this department, yeah. 80%. It, yeah, all of our firefighters right. are paramedics okay. and they're incredible at that job. We also have a special rescue team. So like we know, we have rivers and cliffs in our area. It's right. gorgeous, <laughs> but that also means that people can get in trouble. Risk, so, for sure. So yeah, we have 13 members of a special rescue team that are specially trained for swift water rescue, high angle rescue, low angle rescue, confined space. So that's another <laughs> aspect of what we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's a really another huge aspect, car accidents. So they're trained in so many different disciplines to support our community. And I think those, that's a huge service that's provided, right? Absolutely. In our area and for all the folks in Bend. Yes. Right? What's a great way to contact that? Because again, those are very unique, very individual kind of services. Is there a 911? 911. So 911, okay. uh -huh. and if you call, let's say you call and have an emergency, obviously, right. the dispatcher uh -huh. gets the information and sends the appropriate um, yeah, crew mm -hmm. to your call. If you have a non-emergency situation, right. like my smoke detector or something, or I smoke need to get detector, uh -huh. yeah, um, or our, our medical situation that right. isn't emergent, mm -hmm. they they figure out which crew to send. Okay, so still so, call nine one one, right? Absolutely, you can okay. still call nine one one, and they figure out who to send. Um, we also have an incredible prevention staff here. That's right. another thing that people don't realize is we have whole prevention department that serves our community and they do plan reviews. They also do education for our community. Um, they do risk assessments. Right. So many people don't know, but they can go out and look at your home for def if you have good defensible space right. in case we have a wildland fire. What's and defensible mean? Yeah, that's free, free service, yeah, right. Free service so defensible meaning like- That there's enough area around your house that okay. let's say there's um, a spark from uh -huh. a wildfire that comes and drops near your home, right. that spark can't propagate or start a fire and burn down your house or maybe your neighbor's house or an entire neighborhood, which 100%. we've seen. Yeah. Right, okay. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah, a lot of services we provide and um, we take great, great pride in serving our community. What are other ways to get involved outside of calling that number? The website or like social media? Can you talk a little bit about those ways? Absolutely. Yeah. So we have a great uh, website. We have great educational tips, seasonal tips for people, safety for the river, 
uh, all kinds of safety tips for the community. We've also tried to develop a bunch of videos um, for kids. Yeah, uh, virtual awesome. station tour, yeah. what does a firefighter wear? So what we do tours of our engine virtually. So that's a really fun platform. We also have social media, Facebook, Instagram, Ben Fire Rescue, and we post safety tips, um, things that are going on in the fire department. So that's a really fun follow. And you also can call our administration building and get in touch with our prevention division if you're interested in that defensible space or other things we provide. Right, no, that's awesome. I think it's great to have a multitude of different ways and options to get involved and or to ask any questions that they may have and or self-select and look on the website or talk to somebody online or talk to the 911 operator and they'll direct you to the right area. Absolutely. So I think it's wonderful to have that, you know, choices yes. right, and options. Trish, thank you again for highlighting all that information. You know, what is one takeaway that you want to let the folks know um, watching this? I think that your fire department is so much more than just fire, that we're here to serve the community in a multitude of ways, medical and our special rescue and education and going out and visiting our community uh, and just making sure that people are safe. And there you have it. For more information, feel free to visit our website. Stay tuned for our next and final episode with Lynn McConnell and we'll be going over our housing department.